What's up, guys? Jamie's me back on the channel, and if you haven't heard recently, the the Houston Astros were cheating and they stole signs. Uh, so today their punishment was handed out. But first, before I talk about their punishment, make sure to leave a like on the video if you do enjoy it. That's the best way to share your support and subscribe if you like all sports. We're on the grind at least three videos a week. Hit that sub button and turn notifications on so you never miss a video. So let's get started. So Major League Baseball dealt the most severe punishment against a team ever. And they suspended Houston Astros general manager Jeff Lunau and manager A.J. Hinch, Hinch, not Hinch, Hinch for a year in their role uh, in the cheating. And they were also, the organization was also fined $5 million. That's the max a team can be fined. So I've heard some people saying, like, why aren't they fined more? Because that's the limit that uh, Major League Baseball can find. And then they got rid of their first and second round picks, both in 20, 2020 and 2021. The Astros owner fired uh, the, the Houston... Houston Astros general manager Jeff Lunhow and manager A.J. Hinch, uh, right an hour after the punishment came out. Crane was quoted saying, I felt with what came out in the report they both have responsibilities, Crane said. Neither one of them started this, but neither one of them did anything about it. Uh, but also, uh, whoa, but, uh, so, let's go. So, Commissioner Rob Manfred it, uh, has also been getting angry at the Astros assistant GM, Brandon Taubman, for MLB at, for at least a year, the assistant GM for the Astros, I don't know if I said that, for his comments to female reporters re regarding Robert Roberto Osuna during the playoffs. I'm surprised that, uh, what, yeah, that Crane hasn't really done anything about this recently. And hasn't fired him like has fired him like he fired Hinch and uh, Lumhow, but uh, yeah. But let's also get something else. Uh, as the season went on, bench coach Alex Cora, who is now obviously the Red Sox manager, who who the Red Sox were also accused of cheating a year after that. Like, what am I saying? Oh yeah, so Cora was arranged. So Cora was the one that arranged for a video room technician to install a mo to install a monitor to play displaying the center field camera feed outside in like that hallway outside of the Astros dugout. And then they put the trash can uh, put a trash can there and started banging on the trash can to alert the uh, to alert the other player what might happen. So so players watched the feed. Of the center field camera through the model, and then after decoding the side, they would do whatever they had to. Do you need something? Okay. And then they would like. Oh, I'm pretty sure you guys know the story. So. So. Hinch though said that he knew what was going on and claims that he voiced his disapproval. Do I believe him? No. I mean. Man. Uh, Commissioner uh, Manfred said, Although I appreciate Hinch's remorsefulness, I must hold him accountable for the conduct of his team, particularly since he had full knowledge of the conduct and chose to allow it to continue throughout the 2017 postseason. I mean, like like I said, the Reds, like I said in one of my last videos, the Red Sox stopped doing it for postseason because they stopped, they were put under guard. So, I mean... The MLB should have done something a lot earlier to stop, to stop it, and maybe just make sure there's more security on, on in their dugout and all that. So, so the whole point of this video was to see whether the Astros, Astros, uh, punishment was enough. I think maybe. I think maybe you take away the draft pick for another year. But I've heard some people say take away the dang World Series. Don't take away the World Series. I mean, the Houston Astros were uh, were probably better than uh, the Los Angeles Dodgers. 
Probably. I mean, I don't care if the series was four to three. I mean, but you never know. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, like, actually, I agree with my brother on this. You never know what would have happened if the Astros didn't steal the signs. I mean, they won a few road games, so I mean, I don't know if, like, I don't know if they should take away the World Series. I do not think they should take away the World Series. But I definitely think that the punishment isn't enough. I mean, they still they stole the signs. That's an awful punishment. I don't care if it was only at home games. Do you really need a lot? Like nothing. Fine. So anyway, I while I do think that the Astros have gotten a good amount of punishments, like I said earlier in the video, uh, five mil five mil is the most uh, the most that uh. MLB can fine, uh, but they need to take away more draft picks, and I think Hink should have just been fired, like, Hink should have been, like, Hink should have been, like, to, what's the Astros guy, Lumhouse, no, he's the GM, uh, Jim Crane, he's the owner, he should have just told Jim Crane, look, I realize, I realize, like, Hink tried to stop it, but he was also... He was also like responsible. He has to know what what's going on with his team. So I just think that Hinch needed a bigger punishment as well as as well as Lunau. Lunau, yeah, I think that's how you say his name. Lunau. They both needed harsher punishments. Um and in this USA Today Mark article i will throw a link in the description down below to that usa today article it, it article not article article it was very detailed the usa today article also says like uh baseball baseball will not permit cheating and will not permit cheating and the next organization that uses illegal electronic electronic equipment will be dealt even a harsher penalty i I don't care that the Astros were the first team to do that. They need that harsh penalty first to make sure that they don't, to make sure that they don't do that again. I, I do think that the punishment is harsh, but I really don't think it's harsh enough. So that's what I think about the Astros, Astros cheating scandal. I'll throw a link into the USA Today article. I got a lot of this information below. That about down in the description below. You should check out USA Today. Subscribe, subscribe to it. All right. So that's gonna conclude the video. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. That's best way to share support the channel, and I'll keep doing stuff like this. And subscribe if you like sports. Like I said, thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Maybe Wednesday. No, definitely tomorrow for another one. See ya.